I've been an amateur graphic designer ever since I learned Adobe Illustrator back in uh, the 1980s, believe it or not. <laughs> and one thing you quickly learn when you play with a tool like Adobe Illustrator is it's not that easy. It's really hard to create something like a brochure or something really beautiful. But we're going to talk to a company that makes graphic design really easy and does it almost automatically. And uh, I didn't believe it until I saw it and I was blown away by this new company called Canva. And who are you? So I'm Melanie Perkins and I am the CEO and one of the co-founders at Canva. Um, when I was at university, I was actually teaching design programs like Photoshop and InDesign and it took a whole semester for students just to learn the very basics of how to use the programs. And at the same time, Facebook was taking off and that was fun and collaborative and social. And it seemed so crazy that design was being done in such an old-fashioned desktop manner. And I realised that in the future, design would be entirely different. It would be online, it would be collaborative and it would be really simple. And so I took that concept and started my first company, Fusion Books. And that was con taking the online design system but applying it to the yearbook market. So that company is now the largest yearbook company in Australia and last year launched in France and New Zealand. But we always knew that that technology was much more powerful than just the yearbook market. We knew it had the power to really transform the way design's done. And so that is where I'm at now. We're just about to launch after a year of development this it's, product that's it's been awesome. making. Well, I saw this at when I visited Sydney, Australia, and you're from Australia. Yeah. Your company's in Australia. Yeah. And it blew me away. So I said, no, oh, if you ever come to San Francisco, <laughs> you got to come and see me. Okay. So uh, thanks for coming. Um, what is it? It, it? And I think this is one of those products that you need to see. It, it, and it, because we could talk all day long about, oh, it's an automatic graphic design tool. Yeah. And people uh, will just not get it. I didn't get it until you sh pulled out your laptop and showed it to me. And, I, and then I was like, whoa, this is really yeah. quite amazing. So can we uh, have a little tour? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll try and give you a quick verbal description. Okay. And then I'll give you a tour because the, the tour is going to be much more impressive. But the idea was that the, at the moment when you're trying to create a brochure, you have to go to a stock photography library, then you have to go to a font library, and then you have to go to a stock layout library, then you have to cut out the images, like depatch them, and that takes a whole hour just to do the very basics. And then you have to collaborate online um, via email and send back PDFs forwards and backwards and then you have to prepare it for web or print. And this whole process is just crazily complicated to learn and really time consuming. And so we wanted to integrate that entire thing into one simple screen, which is what I can show you now. Yes. <laughs> so, take, take it away. <laughs> so this is the home page. Yeah. And so the idea is that you can design anything for web or print. So you can design flyers, presentations, Facebook covers, blog graphics, business cards, posters, invitations. It's all about searching and dragging. So you literally just search for what you want and then drag it straight onto your page. So rather than having to go to the stock photography library, cut it out, it's just all there, ready to go. It's completely online and so there's no software to download and it's actually entirely free to use. You only we'll have talk about the business yeah. model anyway, <laughs> later. You only have to pay for the stock photography or graphic okay. elements. And then you've got over one million images to choose from that you can drag straight into your page. Hundreds of fonts you can collaborate anywhere. So let's actually jump in to the demo. Yeah. So when you log into Canva for the very first time, this is what you see. You get this 23 second guide, which teaches you the basics, which is quite impressive after we're teaching design programs and taking a whole semester. I feel like after these 23 seconds, people actually can design much better than after my class. Yep. <laughs> so you click, show me how it's done. And it literally, you go in and search for what you want. So in this case, he's searching for a lion. You drag it straight onto your page. You can resize things. You can add text or choose from a whole bunch of text placeholders and then just write directly into the screen. Click Publish, and then you can export to PNG, PDF, or social networks. And that's it. Wow. And so you can see you can get, make something very, very pretty very, very quickly without doing a lot of work. Can you show me uh, maybe something like a, a more in-depth than just a little infographic you're going to put on Facebook, maybe like a brochure or, yeah, a, or a website? So when you first log in, you go through these starter challenges. Mm -hmm. So it teaches you the very basics of things like changing colors, 
which you can do just by clicking like that. Um, and this is all HTML5. It's all right? HTML5. So I didn't load any software to get all this wisdom. No, stuff. it's all completely online. So, which is so great for collaboration because if you're trying to collaborate, if you're a designer and trying to collaborate with your client, rather than going backwards and forwards over email, you can actually just collaborate on, and the client can change the text online. Or if you're trying to collaborate with your, you know, teammate, you can go through the approval process with your boss and everything purely by um, logging into the system. It's great. pretty fun. And you can, so these are just the intermediary challenges to get people yeah. up to scratch, but search for a party hat or a hat. And the images pop up right away. So yeah. you have a big uh, repository of images. Can you bring anything that's not in your repository? Yeah, absolutely. You can click upload. You can upload your own photos. You can pull your photos directly from Facebook. So it's all completely integrated. Okay. But from the search perspective, this is searching our library of a million images that have already been cut out and prepared so you can use them straight away. All right, so let's see a, one of the hats. There you go. And you just drag and drop. It's, and it, this is what, where I started getting blown away at, at the breakfast where you were showing this yeah. to me, was the HTML5 is just really exquisite. The yeah. amount of detail you put into everything is uh, pretty mind blowing. Yeah. So let's keep going. <laughs> so add a background, so you click backgrounds. You can choose, we've got a huge library of backgrounds. You can, that just goes on its continuous scroll. Yep. But let's choose one of these backgrounds. Let's go for a stripy background. Then you can change the colors. So this is a vector editing program, but without actually having to be a vector editing program to change colors and choose wow. whatever color you want. Okay. And then search and your favorite. Is, is the, when we print this out, mm -hmm. is it fully vector based? So yeah. it, will it be good enough, enough for use on a billboard or a Absolutely. Sign or like so that? That, that was the one of the big objectives is that we want to mask users from having to worry about what DPI it is, whether or not the image is a high enough resolution. So all the stock photography that we have, for example, are just really, really high quality. But we deliver a low lower resolution image to your browser so you're not having to struggle with the um, intense file that takes a long time to download. Yep. So if we click. So we can search for something like sushi. I get sushi, yep. And just drag drag images into, and it snaps right into place. That, that was really, that's yeah. really cool stuff. So you can resize it, crop it again. You can just search, we've got a really big library. Drag on some more sushi. And so you have these predefined templates that are designed to bring imagery into, like for a brochure or Yeah, a exactly. So with that example, they were um, photo placeholders, so it automatically snaps to place, yep. which means that you can crop it, you can not have to worry about making everything aligned, it's just got beautiful alignment right from scratch, which is a, um, very tricky part when you're trying to learn to design because you don't know about all the alignments and having equal gaps and all the different um, intricacies of design. Yeah. And so we've also got all these layouts as well. So if you click here on layouts, you can actually choose from any of our layouts. And we're soon going to be inviting designers to contribute their own layouts as well. So click on a couple just to yeah. see what they are. And these these uh, images then are all replaceable exactly. by just dragging and dropping into the. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to sushi. Let's use another. Wow. And then you can change the colors of any of the SVGs in there. So rather than having to let's make it a black background, a black circle, yeah. you can make the text white. So rather than having to use any of the vector tools, you can actually just do it all straight from inside Canva. Okay. So that gives you a sense of walking around this and how easy it is and how beautiful it is. Um, now this is great for beginners because yeah. it sort of forces you to stick inside the box, mm -hmm. right? Is this appropriate for professionals? I mean, yeah. do you think professionals who are you know really adept at pushing around Illustrator and Photoshop are going to take to this? We've been working with a lot of designers throughout our development process. And the feedback has been overwhelmingly that they're really excited to use it for collaboration with their client. Mm -hmm. So they'll still create their logos and do the, the really fine-tuned pixel manipulation things in things that are desktop based. But for the actual layout design, they can do this much, much easier in Canva. They can collaborate with their clients so the client can then change the text 
all these sort of things which they just haven't had the capacity to do before. Yeah. Which means that they can concentrate on doing the fun things like creating the branding and the colour schemes and actually creating the logos. And then they can leave the small text editing to um, the client. So you, we didn't show off collaboration because we don't yeah. have anybody else to work with, but you can send this design like to me at my house and I can exactly. I can then go and change the colors or change the text or whatnot. Yeah. Is there any way to lock it down and say don't change any of the design, just change the content in, in the pages? There like, isn't yet, but we're just at the beginning of the journey. So okay. the, we've been getting all sorts of different feedback for different ways people would like to use Canva. Yeah. And um, we'll progressively unveil what we where we're going with that. Because if I was creating, let's say, I was a restaurant mm. owner, and um, somebody, I, I pay somebody to build to do the d design, which is great. But then I want to give it to my chef, yeah. where he's going to type in the menu every day. Yeah. And I don't want him to accidentally mess up anything else, right? Yeah. I just want him to have one thing to, to yeah. mess with. That might be a Definitely. interesting collaborative. One thing you can do, you can duplicate pages. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you're scared about interfering with the design that's already there you can duplicate it and then you're not going to worry about that you can also duplicate the designs themselves okay. so you can have multiple copies and versions of what you're creating do you have revision do you see a revision history so you know who changed what yeah there's all sorts of things okay. in the pipeline right. <laughs> coming but you can see where once you get to this point where you have a, a beautiful set of tools that you you go in a professional might need to still go back out to Illustrator to work on a logo or work on some text treatment or something like that or, or do a really in-depth uh, illustration of some kind. Yeah, we've, we've sort of drawn a line in the sand that we really want to focus on layout design. We want to be the best layout design tool ever known. Um, we don't want to get into the realms of pixel manipulation because it's just, it's 99% of people don't need that sort of um, power and then the designers don't actually want to give that power to their clients. Right. So it actually works very well just being about pure layout design and because I think we can really dominate in that capacity. Yeah, but they can bring all their lo logos or Definitely. their illustrations or their specialized uh, gradations, all sorts of fun things in, in here and lay them out. Right? Yeah, exactly. Very cool. So how, how are you guys, let's talk about the company you're creating. How are yeah. you going to make money and, and where do you see the company going? We really want Canva to be the place that everyone turns to just as a no-brainer. It's like they need to design a Facebook cover or a, a blog post or a presentation. We want Canva to be that default choice. Um, so we've decided to price it accordingly, so that's why it's free to use. And you only pay if you want to use the stock photography or graphic elements. We want it to be able to be used by everyone around the world. Mm -hmm. so. Are you going to have more features that you're going to pay for, like a, you know, a freemium style model? As you as you you know launch the as you launch this over the next year, are you going to see a model that's going to change? There's all sorts of things that we're going to be unveiling progressively yeah. over the year and coming years. We really feel like we're just at the start of it. Like we've had this vision literally for five years, and we've I feel like we've got to unveil like one percent of where we really believe that Canva can go. So extremely excited to actually be putting a putting Canva out there and starting to get people using it and the feedback we've been getting has been really really exciting but very excited to start unveiling more and more of the features and plans that we have but still keeping it simple at, at its essence yeah who's funding this how, how did you raise money we we've got this? some really great investors um, from both here in Silicon Valley and in Australia um, we have the founder of Google Maps Lars Rasmussen we have um, the CFO of Yahoo, Ken Goldman, we have um, Interwest Partners, Matrix Partners, um, and it, from Australia we have Square Peg Capital and Blackbird Capital. So we've got some really great people behind us, which has been so helpful on so many fronts. When we're during the investment raising process, where we are literally revised my pitch deck a hundred times, um, <laughs> we really got you know, questions thrown at us from every single angle. Did you, be, did you build your pitch deck inside your own tool? Were you eating your own We own have thing? now, but we hadn't actually <laughs> built it at the point in time where we were pitching it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it would have made life a lot easier because collaborating with my business partners and collaborating with um, our designers and everything like that, it would have been a lot easier in here. So I think pitch decks are actually going to be a really powerfully used um, application on Canva. But yeah, getting the questions from investors really helped us to refine our strategy and to make sure that everything was really solid and thought about in a lot of detail. Yeah. 
You, as an aside, you had a unique way to hire somebody. Can you <laughs> tell me about that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we, we've had to use all sorts of methods. We're, we've known where we want to go for a long time, but the way yeah. we were going to get there was certainly not um, a clear laid out path. So we found this amazing engineer that we were introduced to um, by one of our investors. And we met up with him a few times. We knew we desperately wanted to work with him. Um, he was uh, one of the senior engineers at Google in Australia, Dave Herndon. And so what we did, um, we sent him a fairy tale. And I think it really- Can you show it to me? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so you sent him a, fa a fairy tale? <laughs> and was it this designed inside Canva? It was. Awesome. So this shows you a little bit about how Canva could be used uh, to, to recruit somebody, right? So what we actually did was, so once upon a time, there lived a man named Dave. After five years at Google, he wanted more. He longed for an adventure, to be excited by work but the goog would not let him go. And it continues, would you like me to go on? Oh, uh, please do actually, <laughs> okay. this is cute. <laughs> and it shows you some of the, you know, the beautiful text and how easy it is to create something fun like this yeah. inside your tool. They told him Google would die. He was sad and confused. But then a little bird called Lars came along. Didn't think we'd be reading fairy tales here today. <laughs> no. Nope. He said Google will keep Googling, Googling. Luckily, the Canva team never gave up help, hope. Dave joined Canva and lived happily ever after. This was far before he joined Canva. Yeah. Dave joined us, changed the face of the internet, transformed the world of design, and built the coolest company ever. So that's uh, how you, how, you know, startups always, always have to convince other people to believe, right? Exactly. And uh, very well done. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, I think, yeah, it's been funny actually how powerful design has been throughout our entire process from yeah. revising the pitch deck a hundred times. If it wasn't through our pitch deck, it would have been really difficult to communicate our vision. And then through things like this recruitment pitch deck, it's, it's funny how well you can use design to communicate in a way that where words sometimes fail. Yeah. I bet the press is going to uh, say this is the tool for the Pinterest generation or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Is that, are, are you hearing that feedback? I haven't heard that analogy before. Because but. Pinterest is so visual and, yeah. and using these kinds of small, you know, uh, highly graphical elements uh, is, is so automatic and it, it's hard for a normal person to create that if they don't know how to Definitely. use Illustrator. Just doing text on the top of a photo. It takes a little bit of skill. Right? Yeah, I, I think that's been one of the, we've been working with a lot of bloggers throughout our development process and they've been so excited about being able to create their things like their blog banners and their blog posts. All that visual design, there's so much pressure these days to create things that look professional yeah. and um, to actually have a tool that enables them to look professional and look good to their users or their clients or their um, team. It's it's quite powerful. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. Great, great <laughs> job. You. Are there any more companies like this in Australia? <laughs> yes, if there are, I, I, will, I need to go and uh, visit Australia more often. I think Australia is certainly growing on um, with the startups. There's some really amazing things happening down under. Yeah. We'll be uh, back in Melbourne in November. So thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. Thank you.